Good morning. Good morning. It is a, it's not a good morning. It is a great morning here. Uh, first and foremost, let's knock this out. I'm Trooper Steve, your New 6 traffic safety expert at WKMG News 6. We're live inside of Results 1 uh, this morning. And uh, let's talk about this just for a second. State of Florida, Central Florida, Ormond by the Sea, 72 degrees outside, and I've got the beach right there. We are sitting currently right here along Ocean Shore Boulevard, aka A1A, um, close to the intersection of Seacrest Drive. Now, we're going to get to our destination just shortly, but Mary, a viewer, sent us an email saying, hey, I've got some questions reference pedestrian crosswalks out here uh, along A1A, aka Asian Ocean Shore Boulevard here in Ocean by the Sea, or Ormond by the Sea. Listen, I'm going to do that a lot because the wordplay is intense. So just bear with me here. This is what happens when it's live. Anyways, we're out here along A1A. I'm going to call it A1A. And uh, Mary had questions reference pedestrian crossings. Now, if you're familiar with this area, familiar with us at News 6, uh, we have covered a lot of what the city of Ormond Beach has done and installed with the Department of Transportation new crosswalks and stuff like that. I can tell you since I got out here already, even this portion does have uh, some new signage that is in place and we're gonna talk about that signage. We're also gonna look for the crosswalks as well and uh, pinpoint where they're at. I can tell you I've seen a few since I got out here that are uh, flashing ones. So you activate it as a pedestrian and then the lights start flashing. But uh, it is beautiful outside, absolutely stunning. I wish, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the beach at some point, we'll do a side cam shot. Uh, but currently all you see is these beautiful palmetto bushes. But you can kind of see the beach in the right hand side right there. Uh, what a great day to be in the state of Florida, right? So I am going to pull up the viewer's contact information and uh, let you know what they said. So Mary L, I never give someone's last name out, just in case, you know, Mary L. from uh, Ormond by the Sea says, along A1A, there are a number of walkover crossings from some of the condos and streets of various neighborhoods, which lead to, lead to the beachside, correct? Crossing over to the East Coast right here or along A1A. There are very few official crosswalks in our designated areas. Sometimes polite drivers will stop to allow a pedestrian to safely cross. It also has double yellow lines out here, but vehicles behind them will pass. Big no-no, right? What's safe? They say it happens all the time, all day. I've seen a lot of pedestrian crossings since I've been out here already. So specifically talks about right around Kathy Drive. So we are gonna go for a little drive here. Uh, it is so nice outside, I cannot stress that. But let's, uh, let's hit the road and see what things look like out here. Kind of in the sand, so I need to move a little slow. That's the last thing I need is to get results one stuck. But if you notice, there are signs all over here uh, indicate pedestrians and stuff like that. We're right in, in front of uh, Michael Crotty Bicentennial Park headed northbound on A1A. Uh, there is a sign here for an official pedestrian crossing and if activated, you are to complete a stop, whether you see a pedestrian or not, and that is our uh, well-lit, well-marked crosswalk. So speed limit's 40 miles an hour. I don't want to go too slow. Now speed limit goes up to 45. We're passing Aqua Vista and uh, coming up here on Kelly Road. Uh, we'll be here in just a moment. But you can see pedestrians, one sidewalk on the left-hand side and no sidewalk on the right, but that is the beach side. We are currently headed northbound. There are some signs that I want to show you that indicate uh, very important things out here. And when we find one, I'm going to pull over and we're going to talk about that sign just because. All right. So there's Kelly Drive. We'll get turned around at some point. But as you head north here, you can see beautiful day. Visibility is great, but there's only one place for a pedestrian to be. So only if you are commuting and walking out here, that's the only place you should be. The only time you should be on the beach side of the roadway is if you are going to the beach. So here's another marked crosswalk at Ocean Breeze Circle. 
And when you're driving out here, you should already be paying attention, right? It is a highly uh, residential area. There's a beach, so obviously there's gonna be people walking across. So you should be on a heightened awareness of pedestrians. Speed limit is low, anywhere from 40 to a posted 45 miles per hour. So when you're traveling out here, this is what we call a pedestrian zone. And it has been marked a zone. And I'm gonna show you that at some point when we find one of the signs. But you can see on the right-hand side, there are a lot of pedestrian entrances to the beach. However, when we're crossing the roadway out here, what don't we see? We do not see marked crosswalks for every entrance. Now, there's a reason for that. If that was the case, we would have a crosswalk here. We would have another crosswalk right here. And then another one here. So it would get a little mundane. Now, I am talking safety and you can never have too much safety, but it does cost money, right? So when it comes to putting these crosswalks in, you also have to also think you're dealing with flow of traffic, line of sight, and things like that. So we're still northbound in Ormond by the sea. If you're just joining us this morning, Mary sent me out here. I'm really grateful for Mary because it is absolutely gorgeous outside. And to be out here in a beach community of part of Central Florida, what better way than to do our Tuesday? We're talking pedestrian traffic out here and what she feels is the lack of crosswalks. And now, I'll agree, however, there is portions of this that we as people should be very cautious about. Look, right side here of the roadway, there is no shoulder, right? So you wanna be super careful because people shouldn't be walking there. So as a pedestrian, you should not be walking there. You should be crossing, not walking. Out here, a parking area, but where is the sidewalk located? The sidewalk is on the left-hand side of the roadway. It's on the westbound shoulder, on the west side, uh, in the southbound lane. I'm trying to give you some type of orientation here. There is a specific sign that I'm currently looking for, and uh, once we see it, I'm gonna turn around and show it to you. But it's a sign that indicates pedestrians, crossings, active kind of sign, and it says six miles on it. What is that telling us? That this is a high pedestrian zone, and a pedestrian would have the right of way to cross out here. Not the right of way, excuse me. I don't want to use that because one of you guys will get me on it. Will would have the right to cross out here using due care on both parties. Does that make sense? So when I show you this sign, it basically covers a huge stretch of the roadway in which we are currently driving on. And instead of them putting crosswalks at every single portion, they deem this area a pedestrian crossing area. So it's giving drivers uh, a super heads up on what's going on. And it's letting pedestrians know, hey look, you may not have to go and find your crosswalk. We've been going three miles at this point, no crosswalk. However, what's on the right side of the road? An area for people to park. There's houses on the left-hand side. So that's part of the reason why the speed is as slow as it is out in this area. And some of these houses, y'all, Trooper Steve needs, needs to syndicate. <laughs> My goodness, this is where I should be living, but I don't think they'd let me take uh, results one this far on days. But look how nice it is outside. Here's the beach for you guys. Nice little beach view on this great live stream that we're doing here in Ormond by the Sea. Just an absolutely stunning morning. So as we continue here, I'm going to get turned around because I do, uh, we're getting kind of out of zone. But what continues? A sidewalk continues on the southbound travel lane side the westbound shoulder, the west shoulder. Remember that our coast here, where it is east coast, where the shoulder's right here on the east hand side. All right, I need to get turned around. We're gonna get turned around right here and head back. No, we're not gonna get turned around there. 
want to do it safely and legally, especially <laughs> I got you guys on board. But we're talking the pedestrian stuff, and part of that is being aware of where you can and cannot turn around. What happens if we just pulled up somewhere and there was a pedestrian there? There is a lot of uh, green out in this area. There's a lot of brush that's right up on the roadway. So at no point in time should a pedestrian be hanging out on the beach side unless you are going into the, uh, the beach area. Um, at that point, you're, you're asking for trouble. And what do I always say? You're never going to win that fight between what? Between... Finally, I got a turnaround spot between a train and a vehicle versus pedestrian. Not going to win, I promise you. All right, we're getting turned around here. All right, such a big truck, y'all. Okay, so now we're headed southbound, 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 southbound. Gives me a little bit better orientation. Um, and we can see that sidewalk clear as day. So there is a sidewalk out here the entire way, but we're talking about specifically the crossing, getting over to Beachside. So as long what is as long as a pedestrian is using due care, you'd be allowed to cross. You wouldn't get in trouble. But the problem is you have to cross to where there is an entrance to the beach. I'm saying that because if you cross here, where there is no entrance, there is no safe place for you to be. Now as a driver, I'm flipping the pages here. As a driver, if you're out here, it is obviously not a highway. It is obviously not a road for high speeds. And why do I say obviously? Some people will say, well, Steve, it's a, a, straight, a straight lane. You're right, it's a straight lane, but I can see houses, I can see people walking their dog, I'm right here on the beach. You didn't pay a toll to be out here, so obviously the speeds would be a little less. So as a driver, you must consciously be aware of what you are doing. I can't stand when people say, oh, I didn't realize. Horse crap. You knew what you were doing. Okay, so as we come into here uh, more into Ormond by the Sea, you can see a lot of residents. These were those crazy houses I was talking about. Um, this is the one that, look at this one. Beautiful home right here, ready? Three, two, one. Right there, talk about just its own little castle. All right, so as we come in here now to more of the grid of a city as what I like to call Ormond by the Sea, we're right here at Bass Drive headed southbound. We have parking on both sides of the, uh, only on the beach side there, and no crosswalk. So if a pedestrian wanted to cross here, they would have to be extremely cautious. Is there, let's, let's answer the question straight up. Is there a lack of crosswalks? Yes. Is there a reason? Yes. It just doesn't make sense to have a crosswalk at every single spot. Uh, some people say, well, why not? Well, it's just not feasible. It also messes with the mode of transportation, meaning the flow of traffic. If I put a crosswalk at every street, and I know some people might think it's crazy, and I know my producer listening is, is way smarter than me, but you start to add so much, inadvertently, it will cause issues with traffic. So you can, they, this stuff is done by traffic engineers. They come out here, they study the flow of traffic, they watch it at its peak times and low times, and it's more than just, well, safety. There's a lot of data that gets involved in placing just a single sign out here, let alone a crosswalk. Could there be more? Yeah, I'm sure there could be. But when this entire area is deemed a pedestrian crossing zone, we're going to find that sign. I promise you I will show you that sign before we end this stream. We still have some time. Um, but if we did that, it'd be crazy. Now, have we haven't passed a crosswalk in quite some time? Yes. Like right here. There's a restaurant off to my right-hand side, a large condo, things like that. You know, could there be one there? Sure. I, I, I wouldn't see why not. 
and especially where people are recreationally coming together, you know you're going to have more than just a residential street crossing, okay? But these things are done on purpose. If now a driver was out here and driving recklessly and there was someone waiting to cross, you could you can get into more serious trouble because this is a pedestrian area. Someone could a law enforcement officer could easily justify a reckless driving if you were speeding, it's a no passing zone and not using due care for others. There's construction vehicles out here. You can you can get hemmed up traffic wise. And you probably deserve it. And then the counter argument would be, well, they're just there on the side of the road. Right. But there's a six mile stretch of roadway here that has been deemed a pedestrian safety area. Makes sense? All right, so we're almost to the end of this here, uh, to the end of this stretch of roadway, but it is, this is a great, beautiful, beautiful day to talk about traffic and pedestrian stuff, love it. Um, how lucky are we guys? You get We get to do this together, hang out on a stream, and just chat. Even though I barely get to meet all of you, like, look at this right now. We get to share this together. So nice outside. People fishing. Oh, all right. So as we come into the south end of Ormond by the Sea, we're almost here to uh, one of the busiest portions. So I'm crossing. What's the street we're about to cross? Stand by. I'll let you know. In case you guys are following along with us this morning, I am southbound A1A at Sunrise Avenue. Sunrise Avenue. Avenue, and we're going to be coming up on Kathy Drive here in about 0 0.4 miles. So there's a crosswalk here. No one's posted there, so we're good. But if a if a pedestrian is standing there, then you're going to yield to him. So we are 0.2 miles away from Kathy Drive, right outside the park area. And you can see lifeguard stands out here. Uh, or no, they're not. Excuse me. I don't want to. I want to stand corrected. Those are observation towers. And uh, so we're about to cross Kathy Drive, right here, one of our busy areas. So Mary indicated that a lot of the condos have that have crosswalks. Well, condos, high amount of people, pool area. This is what happens. So you can already see the pedestrian sign up here flashing, giving us a warning. These are great, and I'm a huge supporter of these. Why? Because they just get people's attention. So, state law, stop for pedestrians in crosswalks. Speed limit drops to 40 miles an hour. Light is flashing. And what's that sign say? Look at that. That's what I wanted to show you. There's one. Great sign here. So, this sign. Oh, man, you guys have no idea how happy I am. Okay. So, there's a few great markings here that we have in Ormond by the Sea. I'm currently southbound on A1A here at Sandra Drive, S-A-N-D-R-A, -A, Sandra Drive. And Mary had asked about the pedestrian stuff. There's not enough crosswalks. Well, there are also very few, there are a lot of entries. You can't just walk down the dunes. So what they have out here are a lot of ground safety markings, a lot of extra warnings for you, the driver. And what do I mean about these extra markings? Check this out. Right here in front of us, there is a flashing bright yellow pedestrian sign. You can see it right there. What's it say? Next four miles. Sorry, this truck behind me has me all sorts of confused. Okay, there we go. So right here, um, southbound A1A at Sandra Drive. This cross, this pedestrian sign right here that's flashing. You see that flash there? Bright yellow. It has the pedestrian warning on it, and it says next four miles. Okay? On the roadway, look at the southbound travel lane there. It says watch for pets, meaning they are giving us a warning that this is a high pedestrian area. They're not going to put crosswalks at every single spot but they have plenty of signage out here. So we're gonna pull out and show you what's going on. So as we pull out here, read the sign, look at the ground. Watch for pets, next four miles there, right? 
There's another crosswalk here, a lit one with signage that if a pedestrian was wanted to cross here, they'd activate the lights and they would start flashing. This is right there by uh, Michael Crotty Bicentennial Park. Now, that's there because I can bet you hundreds of people probably congregate at that exact location, okay? So we'll continue down here a little further before we wrap this up. Crossing over Seabreeze Drive, passing, uh, coming up on one of the fire departments here in just a moment, Seacrest, and even as you leave this portion of town, the signs don't stop. And I can, I really like this because look, bright signs, state law, and they're brand new. Stop for pedestrians, crosswalk. Pedestrians crossing next 2,000 feet. So they're saying this is a dense area for pedestrians and I can understand, look, they're all over the place. So there's signage out here. There's a crosswalk right here. And if someone was wanting to cross, even without lights flashing, what are you supposed to do? I, look at this, look at this guy going around. That's illegal, y'all. Do not pass cars into the bike line, bike lane. Ooh, there's always one that ticks me off during this uh, this stream. And I only get mad because I can't turn around and write a ticket. So, let's pull off. We'll talk about this real quick and we're going to wrap this uh, wrap this show up. But man, absolutely gorgeous. Glad we got to come out here this morning and just uh, spend some time together, you know? Usually we're stuck on a grid street somewhere talking about a stop sign because you guys don't want to uh, obey obey the stop signs and stuff. But hey, it's all right. I'm getting results with you guys today. Just pulling off here just on a quick side street so I'm not out on the road. And we can end this. So Mary did send us out here because she had some concerns about the crosswalk stuff. Now Mary, I can understand your concerns. But on the flip end... We can't put a crosswalk at every street, and you can't put a crosswalk at every entrance into the beach. I can understand why we would want one, but I could promise you that there has been so much addition and warning out there that we want to encourage people to use the crosswalks if they see them, but we also want to encourage people in zones like this that if you are crossing the roadway that you're being extremely cautious, that you're yielding to a car, that you're looking both directions before you cross, that you're holding hands with your children, that your children know not to cross without you. If you're on a bike, do your best to walk that bike across the roadway. I'm not saying you have to, I'm just saying it's probably the safest thing to do. Always have your dogs on a leash. There is so much bright yellow signs out here giving plenty of us a heads up that pedestrians and drivers should be working together. As a driver, these signs are there to warn you, lower your music, you know, get off the phone in these high areas. Make sure you are looking two to three cars ahead of you. Don't just stare at the car in front of you. You want to be able to react before it's too late. Pay attention to those crossings. When those lights are activated, even if you do not see a pedestrian, slow your speed and yield to that crosswalk. It is active for a reason. So a lot of this can be uh, worked out as long as together we work as a team. But my opinion, I uh, maybe a few extra one or two crosswalks, but I do think uh, the city and the state have come together to really implement some really good uh, signage out here. We can't be that adult in the passenger seat telling the adult that's driving to do their job. So uh, for now, uh, as this guy's walking his dog here behind me, hello. And, uh, okay, you're gonna, you're gonna keep, all right, thanks, buddy. Creeping me out just a little bit. Doing the slow walk. All right, <laughs> we'll wrap this up. You guys have an amazing and uh, blessed uh, Tuesday. Enjoy this weather, hydrate, yield right away, and wear your seatbelts. You guys have a great day, and I will talk to y'all a little later.